the new house. So this is what we've got to do. Brand new -y linear board. So this is the fake weatherboard that they use. It's made out of a, a fibro product. So we've got to gap all them. The big nail holes. And all these are, you know, there's no nail holes in any of these. Get your down pipes, got our eaves to do. And around the back here, corrugated iron. So this is what it looks like around the back. We still have to do the eaves and the down pipes on these. So it looks pretty good. So today I'm just going to set up with my planks and ladders and I'm going to putty and gap all this outside here. Now the plaster has been inside and he's sanding off. They've still got to do the corners yet. We're going to paint these handrails and the post. And put a stain on here, a natural DWD, Ultra Deck. This will be a, an ultra deck as well, I would imagine. Now they're going to be putting the wire balustrading in here, so they're all nicely done. You'll notice this builder has primed all the back edges. Very important. And we've got weatherboard all up there as well to do. It's a reasonably big house. I'm just going to do this one by myself and I'll probably take uh, a week and a half to two weeks in outside. Not sure exactly, we'll see once I start. There'll be a lot of uh, gapping, cooking to do. We'll just use putty in these ones here. They're not big enough to use a two-pack bog or a builder's bog in. We can use putty on them. We'll have to double putty them. In other words, putty them once or even then put a, a little, a very slight base coat over them. All these joints have been glued. Just go along and do that to it. Now that's just a um, Sikaflex that they've used, which is good, because then that can't open back up again. Let's see, they've used it on quite a few spots. Very good builders, these ones. I can't highlight enough just how good these people are. If you would see it as they're building it, it is just so well done. Um, you can't see the quality here. But trust me, it's there. So anyhow, I'll just uh, I'll do a couple of videos on this house, and um, yeah, we're in a beautiful spot here. Got my planks up. I've got three planks, and I've got three adjustable ladders. So they're very handy because you can carry them easy. Got some more in here. So these ones here, I like using these. They're pretty good. Uh, and we'll be using all the um, pure performance torments on this house. I'll just start to unload this. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, and um, hopefully we'll have a uh, a nice new house to um, show you how I go about doing it. So now this is just the Telstra rope that I use to tie down. I think it's not not legal in Australia. You see how I've tied those a truckies knot? Watch this. A little bit of. And the knot disappears. Look at that. I'll show you on this one here. So that is, I've just driven about 70 kilometers on the highway. Look how tight that is. Now this is double trucky knot. I could actually do a third trucky knot and break this rope. So, and then to release that there, oh, I've just got a bit more here to do wondering where the end was is we just grab this side here 
and we just give it a pull and it disappears. Same thing here, you see that? We're just going to give this a pull. How easy it is. Okay, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you down the track. Bit wet here.